Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So I came across this list of the most popular dividend stocks and it inspired today's video because there are some names on this list that I personally would never invest in for a bunch of different reasons. Okay, so if we take a look at this list, the way it's ranked is through members of this website. So it may not be the most accurate measure ever, but it's something to go off of. And number one here we have AT&T, followed by Ford, Pfizer, AbbVie, Exxon, Intel, and so on and so on. And before diving too deep into this, I wanna say that a lot of the names on this list are indeed great. Broadcom is one of my favorite companies ever. I think Citigroup is a good deal right now. UPS has a pretty bright future. Okay, but to get into this, there's five companies in the top kind of 15 here that I would never invest in. And there's two major groups. The first is the telecoms. So that includes AT&T and Verizon, which is right here. Now, the reason why personally I'm not super interested in the telecom plays is just because of the limited growth. They do have some opportunities and they're listed right here. 5G is a big one, as well as the internet of things. That should really help to increase the usage and the demand for the network. But overall, this is a very capital intensive business and it's just a very developed and saturated market, at least here in the US. And really the only way to gain market share is to acquire other companies. In fact, if we come down to the recent developments in the space, that's exactly what just happened. So recently back in April, 2020, T-Mobile merged with Sprint. So it's just very hard to have lots of organic revenue growth for these large companies. And that's why when it comes to Verizon, their revenue growth year over year is 2%. It is very reliable and consistent, but ultimately you want your money to grow. And this company offers a very small amount of that. And AT&T, as of their most recent reconfiguration, is in a very similar position. Now, both Verizon and AT&T pay a pretty good dividend, but again, this is supported by revenue growth, and that's why the growth rate in their dividends is very low, and their payout ratio is starting to get up there. Now, that's not to say that you can't make money in the telecom space. One of my favorite approaches to this angle is actually American Tower Corporation, and this is a REIT that leases out property and equipment to these big telecom companies. They also do this around the globe, not just in the US, meaning they have exposure to developing markets, and that's why their revenue growth is a lot more impressive. So considering that market, the growth rate, and the opportunity cost, I'm just not a big fan of AT&T and Verizon. Now the next group of two companies I have for you guys are what I consider to be legacy technology names, including Intel and IBM. Now I feel like I'm gonna be attacked in the comments because currently IBM and Intel are both making heavy investments to try and turn around their businesses. In fact, if we come over to IBM's actual website and look at the products that they offer, they have tons of software. Here are some topics including blockchain, business operations, cloud computing, and here's the revenue broken down by segment. And we can see that about a quarter of the revenue is now accounted for by software. So they're definitely trying to move in the right direction. The real question is, is it too little, too late, and is the competition at this point just too fierce? They do have an attractive valuation with an EPS of less than 10, but in my opinion, this is dangerously close to a value trap. If we actually look at their revenue, it's down 20% year over year, and this is what it looks like on the chart going back a couple of years. IBM does have a pretty massive 5% dividend yield, but they're growing it as the revenue is falling, and that's why their payout ratio is dangerously high. And much of this logic can also apply to Intel, even though much like with IBM, they're making heavy investments to try and become relevant again. Currently the semiconductor space is dominated by TSMC and Samsung. And the amount of capital investment needed to create these fabs is absolutely insane. And the issue Intel's had so far is that TSMC is just better at it. And this is what the revenue of Intel looks like over the past couple of years. And again, a distinct lack of growth. Okay, so the two telecoms I don't like because their market is just very saturated and developed already. And then the legacy technology names like Intel and IBM, it's just gonna be very hard for them to become relevant again when there's already great technology companies all over the world. But the final name I have on this list that I would never invest in is Altria Group because this is a tobacco company. A lot of people love this stock because the dividend is very high, almost 7%, and the price action is pretty tame, at least relative to other options. They're also growing that dividend at 8% per year, which is pretty nice. 
The issue with this is that the market for their product, tobacco, is tanking and quickly disappearing here in the US and in most places around the globe. In fact, their year-over-year -year revenue growth is down 2%, and we can see that it's dominated by smokable and tobacco products. And here's the simple reality of the tobacco market here in the US. The demand for it is tanking, which is a good thing public health-wise. I think a lot of people agree with that. But for this company and their business model, this is not good for them. So as the market for their product continues to shrink, this company is going to have to merge with their competition to try and stay relevant and eventually try and spread into other categories. But as we saw by the revenue breakdown, they are fully committed to tobacco products, which is a dying industry. So there you have it. Those are some popular dividend paying companies that I personally would never invest in. I'll leave this article linked down below if you guys want to check it out and leave a comment to let me know which one of these companies you would stay away from. But if you're still watching and enjoyed, I appreciate a like on the video. Go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.